Next, I would like to introduce you to the new bomb wizard using the valve assembly as an example. Based on the linked objects, we can see that the material is already assigned to the valve assembly. However, no material bomb has been derived yet because the corresponding icon is not yet displayed. For the initial derivation of the material bomb of the valve assembly, we use the new bomb wizard. We start this wizard via the context menu. We decide for the multi-level derivation of the material bomb by setting the corresponding checkmark. In this case, we select a saved as the explosion rule. If desired, we can use a change number assigned to the document the active change number or another change number. In this case, we derive the material bomb independent of the change number. We have the possibility to derive a plant specific material bomb. In this case, however, we want to derive a type 2 engineering bomb that is not plant specific. Therefore, we confirm the dialog without further changes with OK. This opens a dialog in which we can see a preview of the bomb to be created. For each selected bomb item in the upper part of the window, we see the corresponding details in the lower part of the window. The details always refer to the values before and after the bomb derivation. In this case, there is no position, e.g., the control module assembly in the bomb yet. Accordingly, the quantity at old value is zero. During the bomb derivation, the just selected items are added to the bomb accordingly. The quantity at new value changes, therefore, to 1. Of course, there is more data available here for comparison. On the left side of the window, the material bomb headers of the bomb are displayed. In this case, I select the lowest bomb header. Here we see that the pipe is installed twice in the assembly, accordingly the quantity 2 is set in the material bomb at the derivation. To derive the bomb, we select Create Update. Once the bomb is created, we see a summary of the derivation process with feedback on warning, error, information on success messages. There are no errors. Accordingly, we proceed. After updating the value assembly, we see that the value assembly material now has a bomb. To better compare the document structure with the bomb, we drag the valve assembly into the assemblies window and into the builds of material window. We see that the material bomb has been created in multiple levels as desired and all the required items are included. In the following we want to change a valve housing because one side of the pipes installed there is too long. To do this we open the valve housing assembly in Siemens NX. We see that two pipes are installed on the longer side of the valve housing assembly. To shorten this side, we remove one of the two pipes and save the assembly back to SAP ECTR. In the next step, we decide not to use the control module assembly in the material bomb. For this, we set the explosion parameters in the assemblies window. Here we have four options. We can either ignore the selected component in all assemblies in which it was installed or only in the current assembly. The same applies to ignoring sub-assemblies or components of the selected component. We decide to ignore the component and its children in all assemblies and confirm with OK.
The setting can be seen directly by the small cross symbol on the document icon. We will now rederive the material bomb. For derivation, we use the settings shown above. In the preview, we see that two bomb items are changed. One item is already selected. This is the control module assembly. By setting the explosion parameters, the component will no longer be included in the new material bomb. Accordingly, the new quantity is set to 0 and the old quantity is set to 1. If we check the preview of the material bomb with the valve housing, we see that the new quantity of the previously changed pipe is now 1 instead of 2. After our check, we will derive the bill of materials by clicking on Update. Again, the summary of the derivation process appears. We update the existing material bomb in the window of the same name and see that the control module assembly is no longer part of the material bomb.